Hello everyone, my name is Noah Raven and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. In the last episode, we beat Night 3 and Night 4 pretty easily. We tried Night 5, got to 3 a.m., and then Fred Bear got us. Um, so, I'm going to be trying to do Night 5 and Night 6 in, like, back-to-back, -back, but this might be kind of thing where I have to cut between because FNAF 4 is a little bit harder for me in the later nights, so it might be uh, kind of like a cut where I try Night 6 a couple times and then, yeah, but... I really want to get into this. It's going to be a lot of focusing with Nightmare Fredbear and Night 6, so there's not going to be too much commentary. Um, also, by the time this comes out, I would have already done this. I mean, this isn't coming out till like, July to August. Um, I'm going to be doing live streams on Twitch, um, just finishing up uh, Night 7, Night 8, and all the challenges as well. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, we're doing good. There were so many laughs. Because <sighs> I heard footsteps a laugh, and then I heard another laugh, and that's when I started to check. Oh, it's always 3 a.m. that's getting me. It's 3 a.m. that's getting me. So good. Right, let's try again. 
Hey everyone, Future Raven here. I typically don't do this until Night 7, Night 8, but since FNAF 4 is so different, Night 5, 6, 7, and 8, I'm going to give you the rundown on how to beat Night 5. So, with Nightmare Fredbear, it's really simple. Listen to his footsteps. Once you hear them stop moving, count 1, 2, 3, 4. On 4 to 5, sometimes 3, so kind of like gauge kind of how aggressive he's being, go to the door that you heard him at. Um, I believe if it's fast pitter patters, he's moving to the right. If it's slower, more deeper ones, it's him moving to the left. And if you hear a laugh, but there are footsteps either during, right before, or right after, odds are it was a fake laugh. And also, there were times where he just laughed, there were no footsteps, and yet he's still around. So kind of just check the door. If you don't see him there, quickly check the bed and then the closet. If he's still not there, um, I don't know if he can, but check the door that he should be at. Um, there are times where he may not be at the door that he should be at. If that happens, basically go back to the bed, count one, two, three, go back to the door, and then he should be there now. And then basically you just kind of want to rinse and repeat, kind of just listen to what he's doing, and you should be able to get through the night just fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for this, so let's get right into the rest of the video.
やーよーし That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Yes! Huh. Zero days until the party. Huh. Hold on, I need to sit here for a second. Hold on. Dude, I was focusing so hard there. Oh, man. That one where he did a fake laugh was so. I thought it was good because there was no footsteps. There was no footsteps. So I was like, it, okay, he has to be on the bed or in the closet. And he, he wasn't in either. I was like, no, did I just lose? But I didn't. <sighs> That was stressful. Okay. Wow, your brother's kind of a baby, isn't he? It's hilarious. Why don't we help him get a closer look? He will love it. No, please. Come on, guys, let's give this little man a lift. He wants to get up close and personal. No, I don't want to go. You're the little man. He wants to get even closer. Hey, guys, I think the little man said he wants to give Fred Bear a big kiss. On three. One, two, three. Was that the bite of 87? That's for everyone who's been wanting me to do that for them, by the way. I, I have to just look at the extras. Ah, oh, these things are absolutely freaking horrifying. <sighs> man. Horrifying game, man. Now I have to do night six. Love it. Um, I'm going to take a quick break because my heart is beating on my chest. I'm going to give myself some time to calm down a little bit and then I'm going to come right back to it. So there's going to be a little bit of a cut here and then we'll get right back to doing it. Let's look at making Foxy. I was like, can we all just agree that this looks like something you would have saw back in like 2013 YouTube? <laughs> that th th This is cool. This is just derp. And the eye change is just so menacing, man. Okay, we'll do night six in just a sec. I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. So, yeah, be right back. Okay, so it's been like a week <laughs> since I played this. Um, I had to take a break because it was actually stressing me out so much that I was actually starting to uh, get stomach pain and stuff like that. So I had to take a break. So we're going to try night six. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know if I'm gonna continue the series past this if it continues to stress me out this much just for my own health. But we're just gonna kind of see how it goes. I do want to get at least the sixth night out of the way for you guys so that you at least get the full story of FNAF 4 at the absolute very least. And maybe in the future I'll come back and do the you know night seven, night eight, you know, 420 mode, all that stuff. So yeah, let me know if you guys do want to see that, of course. But yeah. Do I remember the controls? No. But, we're going to have to learn one way or another. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to give another brief guide as to how to do this. So, as always, you're going to want to run to the left door, check that, check the bed, check that. And then you want to actually start listening for Foxy's footsteps right away. And basically the, how you want to do this is that you want to go to the door that Foxy is at almost all the time. Now, after you've checked, like, let's say you've checked the right door twice or three times, check the left door, even if Foxy's at the right door, because you don't want Bonnie getting in. And also always make sure to check the freddles in between. So every time you check a door, go back and you go back to the bed, quickly just check the freddles because they do spawn a lot this night. So, yeah, and if Foxy does get in the closet, the best thing I can do is check door check bed closet check other door but if you hear chica in the kitchen then don't bother about checking that right door and you have time so you can really reset foxy i actually managed to reset foxy on this night so i think it all should be okay for you to be able to do this just fine it, it wasn't too hard it was more stressful than anything um me being me i was absolutely horrified of this game but 
Yeah, that's basically just basically just check the left or get the areas loaded because sometimes it does take a little bit longer. I know it does on like PC. It takes a little bit longer to load those areas the first time. But once you load them, it should be faster. Listen for Foxy. Yeah, after the second time, you've heard, you know, you've been to a door. So you've been there once, you've been there twice. If you know Bonnie isn't at that left door yet, you can check that right door the third time. And then just go check Bonnie's door afterwards, no matter what. You know, check that bed. And then go check that door, even if Foxy isn't at Bonnie's door. And it goes for vice versa, too. And then when night, night, not night four, when 4 a.m. hits, what you want to do is get in that Fred Bear mindset, because that's when Fred Bear appears. And you just kind of want to do what I did in night five, pretty much. Just kind of rinse and repeat that. He's a little more aggressive, so you kind of want to wait three seconds, you know, once his footsteps stop. One, two, three. And then, well, not that fast, but just one, two, three. Go check. And he should be there. If not, same thing as before, but he should be there. And as always, if he's at a door and he wasn't there, and you check the bed, you check the closet, he's not there, he's still at that door, you you might have time to stop him, but who knows. So yeah, I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay kind of play out for y'all. So good luck. No! Yes! First try! Oh my god! Oh my god, first try! <sighs> I 
Oh my god, yes. First try, night six. I am the god of Five Nights at Freddy's. And I challenge Markiplier to a FNAF off. And I will get it one day. I will get this FNAF off one day. And I will take the crown. From Mark. You know what? I will even challenge Daco. <laughs> one day. <sighs> oh, my heart is beating out of my chest. Alright. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry. You're broken. We are still your friends. Do you still believe that? I'm still here. I will put you back together. <laughs> it's so hard. Yes! I still have to do this eventually, but... Uh, all the jump scares. I know I didn't get all of these jump scares. Yeah, I didn't get that. I know it, so I... I don't think I... I think I got jump scared by Bonnie. I don't think I ever got scared by... Jump scared by Foxy. Not by Chica... I did get jump scared by Nightmare Freddy, but not the bed jump scare. Yeah, I definitely got jump scared by you. Never by the cupcake. I, I don't think I ever got scared by Chica once. And Nightmare. Uh, I'll try. I'll try Nightmare, and see if we can do it for another episode. But we'll just have to see, really. Um. That was the most stressful. This is the most stressful game I've ever played in my life. And I have been playing horror games since I was a little kid. I've been playing Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Outlast, all sorts of games growing up. And yeah, this one is definitely the most stressful for me. Definitely the most stressful for me. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this episode. If this is the last episode of the series, we'll just have to see. Um, I do hope you all enjoyed this episode and maybe the series. I don't know. We, we'll see. I mean, you guys will know. Because once this episode comes out, there should be another episode that comes out with it, like, 15 minutes after it uploads. So, yeah, we, we'll see. Um, I, I think I definitely will at some point. Because I'm recording this all the way back in the beginning of May. And these aren't slated to come out till August. So, I think I'll get it done at some point. So, we'll just have to see. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please do hit that like and subscribe button as well at this time. I'm just going to play it safe. We have a goal of 3,000 subs by the end of the month. While you're at it, comment down below. Absolutely anything. If you have any tips, anything, please let me know. It's th This game is so stressful, <laughs> and I had to take a week break, so that, that's that been fun. So, yeah, comment really anything, any tips, tricks, anything in the whole wide world. I mean, theories, whatever. It You know, it doesn't matter. I'll do my best to respond to you. And while you're at it, share this video with your friends and family, as every single bit helps. And, well, I hope you enjoyed have a great day, stay safe, I'll see you in my next video and or live stream, and peace out.